Here's a very fast and easy way to do board and batten siding. I've got the space planning tools here open. I'm going to build a building from those space planning tools. And you're going to notice a couple things here. When I click on the exterior room, when I click on the outside of these walls here, this gives me the exterior room. You might need to tab to it. Now I want to build board and batten siding that follows the exterior walls and excludes the deck and porch for this particular project. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up making uh, a conversion from this exterior room. We could make room polyline. And what that's going to do is it's going to do a polyline based on the entirety of our structure here. OK, so I'm going to delete that. I want to choose that exterior room again. What happens if we do make living area polyline? Well, it's going to give us a polyline based on living area. Now, what we notice here is the garage is not included. I actually want to include the garage for the purpose of this video. So let me go ahead and delete this. Temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and open up my garage and say include in total living area calculation. Let me press OK. Click on that exterior room make that living area polyline, there we go. Now this is just one step in a few steps. So I actually need to get to a camera view. I'm gonna delete this, we'll do it again. So I'm gonna pull a camera view, front of the house, and I'm gonna use the wall material region. But before I do, let me set up a few things because we just use the space planning tools to generate this house. I'm gonna select a few walls here and I'm going to designate these walls as gable and walls. Well, that makes it for a funny structure, but let me go ahead and undo this one. We'll keep this one a hip roof. There we go, better looking. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is I want to draw in a wall material region. I'm gonna draw this in X15, we have some additional snaps. So I'm gonna try to snap this to the bottom my wall here, and I'm gonna extend this wall material region up past the highest ridge that I have, okay? And that'll draw this in. Now my wall material regions are set to cut their parent finish layer of parent objects. I wanna uncheck that. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna make sure that this is drawn down and snapped to just the bottom of that wall, or at least just past that bottom section here. So something to keep in mind, I am drawing this in a north-south, plan north-south configuration, and this is really important. This comes into play later. I'm gonna grab this edit handle of this wall material region and drag it back till it almost, well, until it indicates that it's snapping to itself. Once I've done that, I'm gonna hit my tab or enter key, and I this is showing me the amount, the distance that I've currently dragged that edit handle. So I wanna subtract two inches from that because I want to you guessed it, leave a two inch batten. This is gonna become a batten, okay? So now that I have this, I'm going to shift select it. Once I shift select it in my edit toolbar, which is usually at the bottom of the screen, I have the ability to make an architectural block. After I've made it an architectural block, I can add it to my library. Now that it's in my library, let's go ahead and rename this to batten. And I'm just going to say test. Close that library down. Now I'm going to get back into plan view. You notice I just deleted that button. I'm not going to use it again. I'm going to get back into plan view, select my exterior room, make that living area polyline. And then from there, in our edit toolbar, I'm going to convert the polyline to a polyline distribution path. This is in the other section. So polyline distribution path. I have that, I can go in and hit the select button. From here, I'm gonna to navigate to my user library where I have that batten test. And then I'm going to change my maximum, or excuse me, my minimum distance to be the distance I want between battens. Now in this case, let me make it 24 inches. Press okay. Now this is created a distribution path of those wall material regions. In my edit toolbar, I'm going to explode the distributed objects. You'll notice it pushed those regions outside of the outer surface of your wall layers. Now let me choose one of these architectural blocks. I can use the marquee select similar 
and then in the sub-edit menu, R key select all similar, and now I want to explode those regions, excuse me, those architectural blocks. It may take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your system. Now back in 3D, what we see here might be just a little bit of cleanup, but you can see here we created material regions all along the outside of our house. And we've just got a little bit of cleanup here. I can put in my corner boards if I want to, and I've got a pretty good looking fat material. We'll turn on a ray trace method here. I'll paint the whole plan with this whole material. You can see here the auto build house left me with what looks like a beam. <laughs> just gonna get rid of that for now. And then let's just take a look at this in a ray trace. Look at that. Quick and easy way of doing battens in Chief X15.